You have a blue your account to smithereens? What was that? The rent money. My stimulus check. My phone bill. Hey, you know what's so funny about blowing accounts though? Especially when you married, cause you normally be showing your wife them profits. You normally be all in her face with them profits. But lately you ain't been showing nothing. You been a little quiet lately. Your girl be like, so how's Forex going? You be like, it's going. Account blown the smithereen. But today's video, we gonna show y'all how to stop blowing them accounts, baby. Let go. <laughs> The Wealthy Empire Network. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash live and direct with another valuable video for you, man. Today, we're going to talk about how you can stop blowing accounts, different things that's going to help you in these Forex markets. Because remember, these Forex streets ain't for everybody. That's why they made sidewalks. You remember that slogan is going to take you a long way. You did. So, this is what we're going to get into today, man. Make sure y'all thumbs this video all the way up. You dig what I'm saying? Cause it's about to go down. And make sure you follow your boy on Instagram. Click the links in the description below because all these other scammers out there be trying to use my Instagram. So you gotta click the one below. You dig? Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. It's going down, let's go. So let's say you have a $500 account, okay? If you are using two standards, let's just hit sell. Let's hit sell on that, all right? Now look at the free margin. You only have $247 left to work with. If the market drops just a little bit, that free margin is going to drop even more, right? Um, and so what you want to do is you want to calculate your free margin. But now let's see if I do one more, if they let me. Now we're in the negative. So it lets me know I'm over leveraging my account because on a $500 account, you shouldn't be doing two standards or four standards. So that just lets me know, okay, now I'm getting ready to get margin called whenever this turns red. So you always wanna make sure that you are using the appropriate lot sizes for your account. And you can always practice that in the demo because this is a demo that I'm practicing on. So you practice in the demo to find out what lot size will work best for your account that way you don't get margin called. So it's like, okay, $2 is too much. So let me go down to a comfortable lot size that I can use to make money, but not over leverage my account and have my account blown. So this is one of the mistakes a lot of people make. They have $500 accounts, maybe a thousand dollar account, and they just use way too big of lot sizes and it starts to kill their account. And this is what you don't want to see because this means it's over for you. That's it. They about to snatch you out these markets and, and your account going to be, they're going to snatch you out. You probably leave you with like a hundred dollars in there or they might just take the whole thing. So always, always uh, be mindful of that lot size that you are using because it can get ugly. So now we know $2 is too much. We might want to go down, right? 30 cent, 20 cent, 10 cent, you know what I'm saying? And that way you can stack your trades. And if you want to stack your trades, it's easy to do. So if I do this, all right, now we have $400. But let's say I want to stack the trades. All right, take a look at the free margin when I do this. So let's say I sell, right? Still got $400 left, okay? So if the market does go against me, right? Let's say the market goes against me. I still got $400 of free margin to play with and I'm only using a 10 cent lot size, right? So if the market does, let's say go up here, and I believe it's gonna drop, then I gotta, I can place another sale up there. Now I'm at $300 free margin, which is great. So now I can get a better position, still not over leverage the account, and still have enough free margin to let me hold before the market does what I need it to do. All right, and you do that on any size account, but you need to practice that in the demo first to see what's the appropriate lot sizes for your account size, right? And that way you can stack your trades, do multiple trades, and then that way when you finally get that push and that move that you're looking for, then you're good to go. So it's always important to cut losses quickly. That way you don't blow your account. So what do I mean by cut losses quickly? I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Let's say right here that this is a zone, all right? Let's just, let's just say this is a zone, all right? And you place the sale right here, okay? Let's say you say the market was gonna drop and it didn't, okay? The market shoots up, 
to this zone and you say to yourself okay if the market shoots up to this zone i'm gonna go ahead and just cut that loss and i'm gonna just leave it be i'll hop in on another trade later but instead the market does touch the zone and you like man i really feel like it's about to drop i'm gonna hold a little longer and then the market shoots way up here all right and keep shooting and you still holding for what for what let the trade go let it go it ain't coming back you can forget that <laughs> it ain't coming back just cut that loss right also what you could do is let me show you something let me show y'all something especially if you're doing it on the computer if i drag this up now if you look to the far left right look to the left you can see the numbers it shows me i will lose 51 dollars on my stop loss if i put the trade here all right you could just set your stop loss right here it says i'm gonna lose about 17 bucks okay if you know that you're gonna lose 17 bucks just go ahead and, and set your stop loss right there cut your cut your stuff in half right cut that loss and just move on to the next trade there's nothing worse than when you don't set a stop loss all right when you don't set a stop loss especially when you're brand new and, and the market just keep going and you holding forever thinking it's gonna come back down and never do and then your account start going red you still holding nah don't do that don't do it don't do it just cut that loss hop back in on another trade later wait on another setup and you'll be good to go <laughs> Another way that people blow their account is they do not pay attention to news. And a lot of the times these are the new people that know nothing about these apps, they know nothing about news, so they get cooked, right? They don't set a stop loss and they get cooked with news, all right? So if you don't have my FX book or like Forex Factory app or investing app or some type of app, right? This is my FX book but you can you know in here you can go in here hit the settings you can go in here and just hit high news only so that way you ain't worried about the rest of the news because it ain't gonna really do no impact like that I only select high news on mine you can do the same if you want to hey it's up to you anything you gotta do your thumb all right but i come in here and then i check all the the forex pairs so euro you're gonna get nzd euro usd gbp cad uh you know swiss frank you're gonna get all of those all right even if you trade the mexican peso you can do that as well uh and then i usually unselect the rest of them now if you somebody who do the you know use the rest of these then keep them all checked but mainly with the forex pairs i do that make sure your notifications and all that is on so basically y'all what's gonna happen with this is it is going to just send you for the day as you can see right here it says today it's gonna let you know, okay, today we got high news. We got high news on GBP pairs. We got high news on Euro pairs. And we got some USD news, all right? Then it's gonna give you a time. So if I'm trading GBP, all right, let's say I'm trading GJ uh, and or GBP USD, something like that. And it's letting me know in three minutes, there's gonna be high news on this pair, okay? In three minutes. So if I'm in the trade, and I'm in on a buy, and then in three minutes, news hit, and the market just drops straight down, and I don't know what the heck happened. I didn't set a stop loss. My account got blown because I wasn't paying attention to the news. So rule of thumb is, you know, if news is getting ready to hit, you can either stop trading until it passes, or, you know, once you become more seasoned in the market, you can trade news or you can wait till it hit and then kind of get in as it's spiking because it shows you the direction that it's going. But you definitely need these apps. So it'll let you know, hey, in two minutes, news about to go off. In 32 minutes, this is about to go off. You can even go look at the news for tomorrow, the next day. And it'll let you know the pairs over here that are, that are gonna go off in the market. Okay, and it'll let you know the time, you know, in one day, in, in 13 hours, you'll get news on these pairs, and that way you'll know to stay off the market, all right? And if you want to see what happened this week, it'll show you, right? These are all the ones that went off this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and that's how you look at the news to make sure you don't get cooked, because I promise you, once these candles hit, boy, they long than a mug. You feel me? Them candles be about 100 pips by itself. So you don't want to get caught up in the market like that. And that's how you do not blow your account. Listen and watch these news apps, all right?
Another way that traders blow their account is by revenge trading. This is definitely something you want to stay away from, right? So let's say, you know, I hit I hit buy. I'm just gonna give you an example. Let's say I lose that one. Boom. You know, I, I get in on another trade, I hit another buy, right? I start losing on that one. Dang. You know what I'm saying? I do another one. I start I start I start losing on that one. I try to get back in to make some more money because I lost, try to make back what I lost. Get in on another one. Uh, 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 it goes negative and I lose on that one too. Let's just say I just lost on all of those, right? Just give it up, all right? Just go ahead, shut your computer off, log off, get off your phone, throw your phone in the trash can, you dig? Take the app off your phone and just, just leave it alone. You don't want to go in here revenge trading because you will die in these markets. I'm telling you, it'll make you want to quit. It's going to make you say Forex ain't for you. I'm telling you, I didn't been there. Do not revenge trade. So the rule of thumb is, now this can be different for some of you, but what I would say is, after you done lost about three trades in a row, it's time to just give it up for the day. All right, come back next day, come back in a week after you done took a breather, because I'm telling you, losing three times in a row, especially if you over leverage and you really just kind of took a big hit on your account, you know what I'm saying? You put a thousand in, now you're down to 300, you sick at this point. You're mad, you know what I'm saying? And don't know, can't nobody talk to you. So it's like, look, after you take, you know, don't over leverage, you take about three losses, you had a bad, sometimes you have a bad day, sometimes you have a bad week. Just go ahead and say, you know what? I'm not gonna try to make this money back. I'm gonna come in here with fresh eyes the next day or next week, and I'm gonna get back in these markets. But the moment you start trying to revenge trade and make back money that you lost, that's when it's over for you, because then you start killing your account, you start not even analyzing the market, you just jumping in, jumping out, and it's ugly for you. So do not revenge trade, all right? And last but surely not least, most people blow their accounts because they just trade way too much. I see people all the time, I'm talking about You'll be on the chart early in the morning, all throughout the evening, all the way at night, get up at three, do the same thing the whole day, every single day of the week. I'm like, golly, you just bound, you bound to blow that account. You bound to blow, you're trading way too much, big fella. You're trading way too much. Stop doing that, all right? So what I tell people to do is once you hit a goal, set a goal first, set a goal. Once you hit that goal, stop trading. If you want to trade more, go trade in the demo, okay? Go trade in the demo, because guess what's going to happen to your account? It's going to be blown to smithereens, and you don't want that, all right? So do not continue to trade all throughout the day. Set a goal, even if you hit $50. Let's say you ain't, it's taking you a long time to hit your goal. Just whatever you got, stop right there, come back another day. Because if you keep trading nine times out of 10, the money that you made, you will lose it. If you made three hundred dollars for the day and you're excited, and you're like, "Man, let me get to six, Then guess what? You're gonna lose it because you keep trading. Greed. It's called greed, guys. It's called greed. All right, stop being greedy. Get your money, set your goal, get your money, and get out. You trading from three a.m. all the way to twelve at night. Before you go to bed, wake up at three. You ain't getting no sleep. You just on these charts all day and night. Then it's ugly for you because you know. You're just doing too much. So guess what? Stop trading so much. Some people, you know, there's some traders that do one trade a week. There's some traders that trade all week. And there's some traders that do two or three times a week. So you just pick what category you want to be in. Now, there's ways to do all of them, but you got to figure out where you fit in, all right? And even though they may, somebody may trade every single day, they're not trading every hour of the day. They might trade for an hour every single day, one hour, and that's it. Some people trade eight hours a day like a job and it get, it get ugly on them accounts. So definitely don't trade all day. Pick a time that you're going to trade. Try to do an hour, maybe two hours. Be done or set you a goal. Once you hit it, be done. Do not over trade all single. I mean, I said all single. Every single day, all right? And that's it. That's how you do not blow your account. So practice these every single day. Uh, definitely practicing a demo as much as you can to master it. Pick out your lot sizes. Uh, find out, you know, what size account you want. Trade with the, the, the account size that you actually are going to trade with in real life. So that way, you know, you know how to manage it. And from there, I think you guys will be great. Other than that, I am out of here. Peace.